Hey, James G here with Tarplay Music in Fort Worth, Texas. We are doing something different today. We are revisiting a guitar that we've done a review on or a demo on already. Uh, you can actually watch the original one right here if you want to go get the original Fender uh, gold foil J bass. Uh, and the reason is, is there was a lot of comments uh, that led us to go watch a lot of other demos and reviews and things. And so there's kind of this... Um, this real big conversation about this space going on. So we wanted to take a look at the one that we have, again, just to be fair and impartial. So whenever we do these demos, what, what we're really trying to do is give a very fair representation the best we can on video of what it you know sounds like as it is and we don't doctor anything i don't color the sound we don't fix problems in post-production uh, you know or anything like that we want to give a true representation to help you decide hey, is this something i'm interested in or not that's really uh, what we're trying to do there so uh there were some comments that we saw and we started really kind of taking a look at it now like i said we went and watched some other videos and saw some other ones were like okay yeah i could definitely see it on that particular basis and some things like that so the thing to remember is for a lot of us you know we have six stores but this is the one that we had in the store to review. So I had this one. I couldn't choose from 30 bases, right? So I just took the one out of the box and we kind of uh, did a demo or review on it. And this is this is what we got. So one common thing was how the single coil being really off shifted or the bridge is off shifted. So uh, a lot of the E strings are not even right above the pickup. And I saw some and I agree there were some. This particular one, though, if you take a look, if I push straight down on this E, I'm still in the gold foil as well as the, the G is there. So that was something that we didn't notice on our model because it wasn't there. Um, and so another thing was people talking about the low E getting lost uh, in the mix. And the in the mix portion is something that we pride ourselves in doing. We feels a little different because we want to give a representation of what the instrument might sound like in a home recording mix or something really, really simple. So if the E is getting lost and things like that, then that's great. We appreciate the comments. A, you're listening, and B, you're really paying attention. You're commenting on what's missing, and we need that from you guys. That's amazing, and we appreciate that. Um, the other part is, is I'm not going to go in and fix that problem because we don't want to create something that that is not there. We want to give a fair, true representation of what the instrument was doing. So um, now, on the other hand of that, once I'm, you know, I have my in ears and I'm playing, I did not hear a huge drop off on the E string. Um, so we wanted to do it again with our uh, the guitar here. Let's just do it again, just to be fair, uh, see if it's there on this one. So I'm going to play some really simple, just kind of bass stuff on all four of the strings and see how that volume uh, stays on all four strings. Because remember, all we have on this bass is a volume and a tone knob and one single coil. So yeah, it's basically one tone with a little bit of shaping in it. So here we go. <laughs> If I dig in and get some bite and some dirt on it. So in my Sennheisers, I really don't hear a whole lot of when I'm just playing as it is. Now, we're, like I said, we're literally going into a direct box in the interface. We didn't shape. We didn't add anything. There's nothing uh, in Studio One that we're changing. So um, you tell us on this particular one, but the whole point of this is, yes, this is the representation we have of, of this instrument. And whatever you're hearing uh, definitely could shape whether that's something you would like to pursue, maybe buying or purchasing or uh, looking into or anything like that. So that's the best we can do as, as demo people and uh just to do that so uh we're going to do a little bit more of some different tones we had actually read a lot about how a pick could be very good for this one particular tone and uh i happen to have a bass pick i'm just kidding we planned it it was already there so uh here we go so that if you were doing a pick sound which is not something I normally do on the bass reviews and stuff, but I had read a lot. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a fair idea to kind of give a pick sound, especially for a 60s kind of tone that they're going for on this, right? 
But anyway, so on this particular model, uh, nothing's ever going to replace you coming down and talking to us and seeing it. So this is the one that we have here uh, at Tarpley um, in this store. So come down and play it. But anyway, we thought it would be good to revisit kind of some of those things we saw. People are always going to comment good and bad and whatever they're feeling. And that's great. That is what we need. Uh, it's appreciated from us because we want to try to get better. We want to give any feedback we can to the company so they can get better and yada, yada, yada. So thank you much for listening to this. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it. Subscribe uh, to our channel if you haven't done so already. Like I said, you can watch our full uh, video of this on our channel at Tarpley on YouTube. And uh, if you do like it, then you can uh, keep up with us because we drop videos every single week. We're constantly dropping. Just turn on, a turn on notifications and maybe we will see you on the next one. Thank you.